Greetings, and welcome back to the lab. I had a thought, and I think I'm going to start a new series. So the first thing I need to do is a little bit of setup. I'm in a different location than I was before, and I just bought a few things on Amazon. And uh, what I'll do is I'll set up my uh, links to my affiliate. So if you want to buy the same thing I got, then you'll be able to buy it. But I'll also be putting links to searches that will get you the same thing because what I've learned from watching other YouTubers is that if you put a link to the exact item that they that you just bought some uh, or especially on eBay uh, maybe not on Amazon so much but on eBay there's algorithms that figure out that is suddenly popular and they raise the price so I'll try to give you both the exact link that I used and a uh, search that will get you the same uh, same product whether depending on same product regardless of seller so the first thing is going to be this here which is a show pin and I'm still trying to work out the uh, the the glare here uh, once I un unbox this or un whatever you want to call it hopefully that'll work out uh, it's the Ashopin SP107. Basically, it's a magnetic project mat. I got it because I think this will look better than the tabletop. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and open this up. It looks like it's basically just... It's a bubble pack. Well, let me flip it over and show you. Uh, you can see the edge here is one of those, but there's a piece of tape up here that I'm trying to undo. So, see, there we go. I can feel it. That's the tape cut. It's definitely magnetic because I can feel it. Now, the pictures on the listing, which I will show you in a moment, seem to imply that it doesn't have this piece down in the corner. Well, now, this is interesting because it comes with other stuff that was behind it. So I did know that it came with a marker. It looks like it comes with some instructions and a microfiber cloth, uh, a dry erase, and a microfiber for cleaning it up. Um, these are their various... <laughs> uh, the idea here is that this has a grid on it. Oh wow, it's actually sticking to the table. That's what I wanted. Um, I do have actually a mat on my table here which is a metal mat with a coating on top of it so I knew that this would stick to it I just didn't think it was gonna be this good what's nice about that is it's not gonna move around on me so let me see if I can kind of get this positioned and we'll see how bad the glare is get the various things out of the way here let's see if I can get this reasonably well positioned I don't really need to advertise for them so I'll get that at the top of the frame and reasonably well centered. I can probably zoom down a little bit. Mechanical zoom. Uh, I have my camera mounted on a uh, an adjustable light. Yeah, that should be reasonable, although, yeah, it's still got quite a bit of glare. So the other option would be, oh, wow, I can already see there's like a, a defect right here. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. Let's flip it over and see if that's better. It's still magnetic. It still has that defect. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go back to the white because it'll be easier to see things. Uh, so I'm going to have to adjust my lighting. Let me see if I move that out of the way. Let me try and actually flip it up so it's indirect light. That's a little better. I do have the light almost in my eyes, though. All right, that's kind of working. Let's see, I can move over. I can come down a little more. So this is just part of the fun, figuring out how to start doing YouTube videos on this. All right, I did want to point out that um, the grid here is really so that I could take the marker and if I was taking something apart I could, like if you're repairing a phone or something like that, a cell phone, 
actually even a, even a landline phone, um, you could actually with the dry erase marker write down what you've got here: screws, uh, I don't know, clips, you know, screen, whatever. You could write that stuff down, and then you could have it all kind of laid out conveniently. That's the idea. Now, I did want to look at some of the packaging because that's something I'm going to do in this series. Is sometimes you read these listings and you kind of wonder what were they trying to say. Uh, a lot of it is translated to English and is not translated all that well. So let's see what they've got here. Reduces reassembly time by up to 40 percent. Okay, that's reasonable English. Magnetized to hold small screws securely. Okay, that's good. Correctable surface keeps notes and stops mistakes. That's reasonable English. But I did notice it on the back when I got it. Um, can be effectively absorbed small complex components from disassembling and prevent from losing. Uh, I think that basically what they're saying is that you can organize stuff by putting it on the grid and that way you don't lose track of what you're working on. Create your own DIY assembly, use a pen to record the disassemble process, and minimize the difficulty of assembling your own after the repair. Again, once it's organized, you can find all the parts that you need to put it back together. The product is washable, even stubbornly attached handwriting is available to wipe out with wet wipe. Well, they didn't include a wet wipe, they included a microfiber cloth, so um, let's give that a quick test here. Well, let's just test the marker that they gave us. Um, test. Let's hope this doesn't become a total disaster and I have to throw the whole thing out because I can't erase it. Like permanent marker versus microfiber. Uh, there are ways of dealing with it. Okay, that comes off reasonably well. This was not all that expensive. Um, oh yeah, the other thing. Uh, just part of unboxing it for me is dealing with some of the language. Um, component, uh, so it says specifications. Components attached mat, oily pen, permanent marker erasers. Okay, first of all, if it's permanent marker, then if they're talking about the microfiber, I don't know that that would do all that well. There are ways of dealing with permanent marker, but I won't get into that. So overall, I like the magnetism. I like the fact that it sticks, um, in my case, sticks to the existing mat I have here. But if I had little parts, like something I worked on all, not all that long ago, had some extra little parts that I have lying around on the on the desk here. I'll just grab another washer and toss it in there. Let's see. Okay, that washer's not ferrous. None of this is... Okay, yeah, that one's ferrous. I can feel it sticking. The, the nut, I'm not sure that that's ferrous. So one of them is ferrous, but the others are not. They're probably just plastic. Anyway, that's this part. That's just the setup. Uh, let's see if I can find the uh, original listing and let's take a look at what that looked like. All right, so I've found the listing and uh, I just purchased this very recently. It came surprisingly fast, uh, but then actually we have an Amazon distribution center just down the street from where I am. Uh, the listing is for a show pin magnetic project mat prevent small electronics losing rewritable work surface mat professional cell phone comma laptop comma computer repair mat for iPhone comma MacBook. Well, it has much more application than that. I'm going to use it for uh, some other stuff that uh, I'll be working on here. Uh, what I really want to do is you know talk about building something like electronic kits. Um, uh, I was going to show that, but we're looking at the screen. So, well, let's see what this listing says. First of all, I paid $8.99 from uh, 
Chopin USA. Okay, that sounds like it's being sold directly from the manufacturer. Um, this is 9.8 by 7.9. Basically, it's an 8 by 10 inches. Uh, I'm not sure what that is in centimeters. I guess I'll translate that and put that here for you. Uh, but here's the description. It says 2020 product upgrades enhanced magnetic. Chopin magnetic pad is designed for electronics, tiny screws, perfect to keep your smartphone, laptop, or computer screws on the mat. You can focus all your attention on the repair of electronic products without worrying about losing screws. We pretty much covered this. Uh, create your own DIY assembly. Use dry erase pen to record the disassemble steps. They really should understand it's not disassemble, it's disassembly. You will find that the printed 4x5 grid is good and convenient for your work. Oh, well, let's see. I've got five. Yeah, it is four by. It's not a 4x5 inch or a centimeter. It's four cells by five cells. And actually, uh, in English, we usually specify length by height. Well, I don't know. Uh, I'll give them a pass on that one. The ma magnetic project work mat with water resistance is washable. Even, least, even stubbornly attached handwriting is available to wipe out with wet wipe or micro and microfiber cloth. It's more convenient without looking for any pen erasers. Well, that's true. If you put a pen, if you used a regular pen, I like a ballpoint, uh, it would be kind of hard to erase. Uh, perfect size, 9.8 by 7.9 inches, can magnetize more small screws, which makes things more organized and tidy. No more searching for small parts, screws, nails, bolts, pins, anchors, drills, and screwdriver bits, small tools, any small metallic objects. Um, I'll agree it'll be good to not lose track of them. Uh, but they have to be ferrous, so they have to be iron-based. The magnetic mat is specially designed for small and light screws. You deserve it for repair. Great for cell phone repairs and no worry about screw tracking and focus on the cell phone. All the screws will be in place where it, disem where it disassembled from. I always wonder why they don't just hire an editor to go through and look at this stuff. Um, so, I will say, I mean, they're talking about it being, uh, you know, a big enough mat to handle, but then if you look here, for $8.99, you get the 8x10. For $11.99, you can get the 12x10. And for $10.99, you can get the 12x10. Uh, let's see, what's the difference between a $10.99 and $11.99? Um, comes with a marker. Maybe it's maybe it's the fact that it doesn't have the no. That's actually what I'm looking at here. Is probably the microfiber. Yeah. So I'm not sure what the difference is between the two. I'll let you dig into that if you really want to go that deep. But there you go. I've got a mat that I can use for building some projects, uh, getting them on camera, and having a reasonably decent background. Uh, something that will be able to have the contrast to be able to show what I'm working on. And it's not too expensive, so ultimately if this thing gets messed up, I can buy another one, and I don't have to sacrifice my table here. So that is my basic setup. Next episode we're going to dive in. We're going to build an electronics kit. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, how it works, uh, maybe not deep into the theory, but just the basics of how it works. Uh, this is not going to be a series on how to solder. Uh, there are plenty of YouTube videos out there about how to solder. So really it's about the assembly. Uh, it's about what it's going to look like once it's assembled. I'll go through a review like I did on this one where I show you the, uh, this, the, the item as listed on Amazon. Or maybe in some cases I'll be using eBay. Just in this case, I got started by buying some things on Amazon. So, uh, And then we'll finish building it. We'll test it out. And we'll see if it really uh, matches up with the expectations. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, let me go back to this. There are some instructions on this. And Chopin is saying, thanks for shopping with us. We'd love to hear from you. 
Your experience is more valuable than any data. All correct English. Uh, there's contact information there. Log, is it, log into your Amazon account and go to your orders. Oh, yeah, leave your review. And they're asking for five stars. I always thought that was kind of tacky when they just specifically say, please leave us a five-star review. I'm going to use this for a bit before I consider actually reviewing it. And that's it for this video. Next video, like I said, we're going to dive in with a kit. So until then, in the words of Lewis Rossman, I hope you learned something.